Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today, my beautiful Pisces, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. But Pisces, I also just recently did your spirit guide messages as well as your ancestral messages, tarot messages, which I'll leave links to both of them over there for you to check out at a later point if you would like, my beautiful Pisces. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Pisces, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, my beautiful Pisces, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Pisces, I would love to hear about it in the comments below and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And then also, Pisces, um, I would love for you to leave this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading because it does support my, support my tarot channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. And then finally, Pisces, this reading here is just to give you some perspective. I believe any tarot reading in your life, any tarot reading, any tarot cards, uh, should be here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your life, but never making a decision in your life because it's just your life to live, right? It's not mine, not these tarot cards, nobody's, right? So really, I want you to use this reading as a way of just self-reflection, as a way to consider a different perspective, um, something for you to help just think things through right because you're the one that has to live with the choices right you're the one that knows how like what your the details and the nuances of your life that makes things not so black and white like readings can sometimes tarot cards can sometimes approach it as right so um yeah my beautiful pisces let's just start getting into your reading we'll start with your moon oracle card first pisces and you guys got the gibbous moon actually pisces this is a card that says you're very close to achieving your goals so isn't this such a beautiful card pisces to get right off the bat right this is oh, <laughs> i thought it went off the table pisces uh but it didn't this is such a card beautiful card to have just because it's like almost like that card usually whenever it'll come forward I find that it will just give so many people just a breath of fresh air. Um, usually this will card will come in when it's just like a, uh, not necessarily like a lifeline Pisces, right? Because a lifeline, I feel like is actively helping you. Whereas like in this case, it's more so just being like, hey, just keep pushing through a little bit more um, Pisces because you're definitely closer to the end of this dark tunnel, whether you're aware of it or not, whether it feels like it or not, and it probably doesn't <laughs> for you, right? I do see this sense of where you're balancing a lot of chaos in your life with this two of pentacles. With this two of earth rather in this deck which i guess is still the two of pentacles normally um this is a card that says too much going on at once the need to make a decision and consider a more playful approach now yeah this is a card of where it's just like your your plate's full essentially uh pisces your plate's full and it's like now you're just trying to you're just juggling with a lot trying to make a bunch of things work and it's just really overwhelming to you you're trying to make a bunch of things work because it's all in the name of achieving your goal but there does need to be the sense like like with the two of pentacles it does refer to balance there does need to be some sense of balance when it comes to this um pisces i do feel this it does seem to be like almost pisces like I feel like with these three cards right here, this is like its own message for my Pisces that feel like giving up, right? For my Pisces that are just really getting tired um, and just <laughs> more so I feel like this setup right here is where it's just Pisces like you being like, hey, I feel your pain. I feel your stress. I feel your anxiety. Just know that like it's almost over, right? Go through the struggle a little bit more, right? And just like push through a little bit more. Um, Right, even with the Seven of Wands, the card, it's the card of persistence and having conviction. This is really just um, a card of where it's just like standing in your truth, Pisces. This is one of those cards of where it's just like whatever decision that you end up making, um, be confident in that decision. Be completely, um, you know, no, don't look back when you make that decision, right? 
And when you have that card coming in in that way, Pisces, it's definitely coming in just more so as again as an affirmation where it's just like you maybe have you may have been going through that dark tunnel for a very long time, honey. Pisces and you definitely have You've been going through that dark tunnel for a very long time and just like with anything if you continue going through that darkness for a while you're probably just at this point where you're just like well wait a minute am I even going in the right direction like am I even on the same path that I thought I was you know um you start overthinking things and so this is this setup here Pisces is more so trying to stop that overthinking and being like hey take a breath Pisces it's okay you like you're not crazy right you, there definitely your life is a little bit chaotic right now right but it's okay because again <laughs> you're very close I, I love met this met this card so much because it is just such a beautiful card so I am going to reference it a bunch you are close to your goal and I feel like you just need to be told that a bunch Pisces because I feel like you've just been working really hard you've been you have been persevering for a long time and you just kind of need that little bit of a boost so hopefully I can kind of provide that for you in this video Pisces um Continuing on with your messages though, this I feel like is a separate message. We have the King of Wands with the Two of Cups, Six of Cups, and then the World card. Now Pisces, I'm gonna be honest here, this is coming in as an offer. Whether this comes in as like a love offer, whether this comes in as an offer for like an opportunity, it's an offer like through and through, no matter how you put this, right? And it's a huge, whatever this offer is, it's huge, right? Truly because of this world card coming in here. Because I see the world card as kind of like being close to the end of your chapter. Again, as well, like the world is very close. If you were to look up the uh, Major Arcana, it's like, if you're not aware of aware of like the lore, lore or like the story behind tarot pisces it's very much so like you start at zero as the it's either the fool or magician i feel like it's the magician you start as like the magician but then you go into like the fool and all of that um and the world is like kind of like you go through all those character building moments right through all the other ma major arcana look it up i really i feel like if you were to look up the major arcana storyline you would greatly resonate with it because this is kind of like what it is you're going through pisces i see the world card where it's just like you know you're very close to the end of a chapter and you're ready you're about to go into a new chapter right similar to <laughs> that gibbous moon honey you guessed it right pisces um so definitely you guys this is some big changes are coming some big changes are coming um with this two of cups i say that you have something coming in as like an offer of some sort whether it's like um offer of marriage offer of just like of a relationship offer of like a job opportunity um it's all based on passion right with this king of wands coming in it's all it's all like an passion related and so it's very hard to like say one way or another but regardless of what it is you feel extremely fulfilled by it so right off the bat i would say pisces um start paying attention to the people that are around you at this current time right make an extra conscious effort to be more open right to um receiving things um definitely because i do feel i just do you do get the sense that this offer does come in by the shape of like a person whether it's an offer of an opportunity or an offer of love uh offer of love it does come in beautifully for you right with this two of cups here um this is why i feel like it's an offering same with like these two cards come in as offerings so that's why i do see this as just like something being given to you um pisces where it's just like hey this is there's like this job that you can take um there's just like this love right in two of cups you cannot neglect it being about love as well but if it's not about love then it's just like your cups being like extreme like you're just feeling extremely fulfilled through that offer being given to you so let's pull some clarifiers though <clears throat> very interesting that we have this devil card here coming in between these two uh offers cards so pisces remember what i was just saying actually of where i was just like make yourself make a conscious effort to be open it's confirming to me with my intuition from before that it's just like this may be like your biggest um i don't want to say it's like your hurdle but the biggest thing that would be like your uh issue here when it comes to receiving this is if is like this devil so let's just say like you know in terms of a person right in terms of like maybe even like a love offer right maybe it's just like there's like being closed off or just not really trusting maybe you just think that everyone's like a devil or like this person's like a devil coming in um right 
Or this comes in as where it's just like the devil is like a bad habit that stops you um, or blocks you from receiving this offer, right? So maybe for, hmm, let's just say like for a while, uh, Pisces, that you wanted to join the Olympics, right? Or no, well, let's not do Olympics. You just wanted to do some type of competition, right? You wanted to do some type of cooking competition, um, but then, uh, this offer comes like you have the potential to get an offering of like you know joining some type of cooking competition but then this devil comes in as like a bad habit of where it's just like you stop putting yourself out there right you stop cooking for a while you decide to just like uh, put your interest in other things right so that's where that devil comes in where it's just like that bad habit stops you from having this offer coming through does that make sense pisces i hope it does so truly this week just put your all in this week pisces <laughs> truly that's what i want to say just like put give it like you know how like you know in like a marathon people is just like like when it's all like on that final stretch pisces and then they just like dig deep within into their like um gas tank right to really just like push through those final last miles in that run right i feel like that's kind of like how it is you're probably going to feel this week where it's just like you're gonna have to just dig deep within honey to really just maintain your composure to really just maintain the quality of the same energy that you had when you first started getting into this like uh, when you started working initially first towards this goal right remind yourself pisces of what why it is that you were in, like why it is that you you even we're going towards this in the first place right you know take your break right take maybe like a day to just like reset but truly this is such a week where it's just like i feel like the more active you are the more um ambitious that you are with uh whatever it is in terms of this goal whether it's related to a person or an opportunity the more energy you sink into it this week the, that's when you're going to start seeing the taste of it right because i really do see um, with this fear of wands, this is where it's like you can start seeing in the horizon a little bit, like a little taste of that victory, a little taste of wherever it is. It's almost like you're like starting to see a little bit of that glimmer at the end of that tunnel, um, Pisces. But just because you see that little bit of a glimmer does not mean that chapter is over. Yeah, right. This is that means you kind of want to push through even more. Oh, I, I apologize. I just ate before I got on camera, Pisces. And whenever I start talking a lot, I just end up sucking air. It's just, you know. So if you ever see me doing this, it's me just refraining from belching in front of y'all. <laughs> um, and then we have the Queen of Cups with this King of Cups. So, yeah, you're definitely going to be... Um, feeling good with whatever this offer is, right? I don't feel like I need to hone in on this anymore because I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory. Whatever this is, like this offer coming in, it just really, really means a lot to you, I guess is all I'm trying to say. With this type of dynamic, um, it just means, I mean, it means quite literally, I was going to say it means the world to you. And then it like, I looked over, it's like, oh yeah, I wasn't trying to be funny, but like, yeah, it does seem to be like this offer means like the world to you, which shows to me that more so it just shows like the sign of like how hard you it is that you've been working towards this in the first place pisces so now let's look at my pisces social situation what's going on with my pisces social situation this week what's going on with my pisces social situation let's see here i'll do these three cards wheel of fortune hanged man mm. Knight of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> so, definitely, again, in terms of, like, if this is, like, a love situation, right? Um, it seems to be, like, really anticipate, like, an offer coming in in terms of love. For my Pisces that, like, are actively been trying to manifest a love coming into their life, definitely it does seem to be... Um, you know, I am going to be honest here, Pisces. It's probably not going to be this week because I'm not seeing any, like, we're not getting enough pentacle cards to have this be like, okay, this is really close. This is really close at the preface, uh, pref I'm not going to try to pronounce that word. It's not close to, like, it's not in the earthly realm yet. We're still tapping into the energetic, energetic side of things. Um, but it does show to me with this Wheel of Fortune that the gears are turning. The wheel is turning into your favor. Um, whether this Knight of Cups comes in as like a person offering their cup to you or whether this comes in as that person from before that I was talking about before that makes that offer to you. Pisces, right? With that Six of Cups and that Two of Cups, right? So with this Hanged Man, it just definitely gives you a different perspective. So maybe this offer comes in from someone that you just wouldn't anticipate. Um, so, hmm. 
So maybe I'm going to pull some clarifiers, but just off of like impressions in this type of dynamic, Pisces, um, it's showing to me of where it's just like this has been like in the making for a while. So this leads me to believe someone's like something has had their eye on you for a while, whether it's like a person being like, oh, I really want to pursue Pisces Um or like you may, you may even already know them and they just have like kept their emotions hidden and you just haven't been aware of it. Um, maybe like it's almost like if this is like love related, you, I don't get the sense that like uh, Pisces that you uh, would quite anticipate them spilling the guts, their guts to you initially. So the cards we pulled now, the Empress card, the Four of Swords, and then the Strength card. Hmm. Definitely, like, there's just, like, Pisces, there is some resistance. There is some unsureness. Um, some, it's not paranoia. Just, like, extreme just being scared of opening up to somebody. Extreme just scared of just tr letting anybody in and trusting them. Even outside or just, like, a, again, outside or just, like, a relationship level. There's just, like, this sense of just, like, you're standing at the doorway and just, like, looking around, just, like, looking inside and being like, mm, you're not sure. It's almost like you have to be convinced to walk through this, um, Pisces. So it's really interesting in this way that it's just... I don't know. I'm going to just say the same message as before, Pisces, of just like, do your best this week to not block yourself from social communications to, you know, that doesn't mean that you have to bear it all, right? And just like be completely vulnerable, Pisces, where it's just like you're out there to be hurt. But Pisces, it does seem to be like, you know, watch your overly guarded. Well, I'm not saying you're overly guarded. Watch how you're presenting yourself. If you're, if you're too guarded, um, you might guard just be too guarded away from having someone else approach you um, with some type of offer, regardless of what that offer is, Pisces. So just be aware about that. Now, what blessings are to come for my Pisces, right? Let's see what blessings are coming for my Pisces right now. But yeah, truly Pisces, like, I just keep hearing it. It's just like, do not like... <sighs> <laughs> I wish I just knew each of y'all's lives in specific because it's just like this constant message is just like don't let this miss like don't let them go don't let this don't let them get away don't let this miss so truly Pisces just like be like pay attention to your surroundings and social like your social surroundings because even if it's like related like because even in terms of like that some type of offer being presented to you even if it's non-romantical um the offer coming in just is something that you would really, really like. So, um, yeah, I honestly believe that was like probably like one of the first times I had such a, like an official spread of where it's just like someone coming in with an offer. Like I'm usually never like speaking in such sureness, uh, Pisces, where I'm just like, oh yeah, definitely you're getting some type of offer. Yeah. That setup was just like, yeah. So I pulled some cards right now for the blessings to come starting this out and I'll show you, show them to you in a moment. Um, Pisces, we have the Six of Wands, which is that victory card, Queen of Coins, another beautiful card of self-sufficiency, and that Eight of Swords. Let's see. Clarifiers, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, Pisces. Okay. How are we taking this? So... Six of Wands comes in with the clarification of the Two of Wands, where, you know, there's this push, Pisces, in the sense with the Two of Wands, it's, you got this card just like um, Cancer did, where it's just like, there's like a decision, like a, this is usually like a card of like, um, changing plans, almost. Well, not changing plans, but it's like big plans, right? Where it's just like, you maybe you have like a plan A or something that you're already doing, but then like in the back of your mind, it's like, this is like your best case scenario, where it's just like, oh man, like, yeah, this nine to five works, but you know, like deep down, like, if only you could, like, you have thoughts of being like, oh, what if I was just like a weird thing that came to mind, like decided to do like real estate, right? There does seem to be like, there's some type of like consideration that would give you this six of wands, a lot of success, Pisces. So definitely, I know I'm going to be skipping ahead here, but do not let your own inner voice, do not let your own, it's almost just like Pisces, don't tell, don't tell the universe, don't tell other people 
um, what it is that you, you deserve if, or like that you deserve less rather, right? So let's say like that Nine of Cups comes in with an offer of love, right? If it is love, it's almost like Pisces in the setup where it's just like, if someone came in with an offer of love, you would argue with them and be like, well, why are you interested in me, right? And then you almost like talking them out of it and be like, well, I don't deserve, like, you know, you start trying to talk them out of it, right? Two of Swords is just like another guarded energy. And that was the clarifier for this Eight of Swords. So it's just like Pisces, such a guarded like, resistance towards just letting, letting something in. Um, or just, yeah, just letting something in. And I just like, yeah, practice being open this week, Pisces. Definitely do listen to some uh, chakra um, binarial beats or chakra singing bowls even just to open yourself up a little bit more. Work on like your throat chakra as well as your heart chakra. I feel like would be really good. As well as um, sacral. I feel like those three would be really essential for you. Um, and then your final cards here, Queen of Pentacles, as well as your Page of Pentacles. So this is all talking about a new beginning. And again, I can't help but feel like this is all encompassing some type of like whatever that offer comes in as with this Knight of Cups. It does seem to be like unintentional, obviously, Pisces, but it does seem to be like Spirit puts such a focus for you guys on... Um, welcoming in just this new energy because this is like this is why right because this is how you start becoming as like with this queen of pentacles it's that card of um being able to take care of yourself that self-sufficiency just being able to like feeling just really good but it's all connected to this page of pentacles which one on one hand on one token it's a card of like communication offering your pentacle right being that communication but also pages represents new beginnings pentacles is like um <laughs> all related to like usually like your finances and stuff like that which um remember from what i was saying before pisces where it's just like you needed more pentacles cards this is like your pentacles right it's that stable it's that stable energy so truly mm, yeah pisces like I wish I was your friend, honey, so I could really just, like, walk you along with this Pisces, so I could just be like, hey, like, it's okay, like, it's okay, man, I don't know, I don't know who hurt you, Pisces, but you're just, like, really guarded, but I feel like this is just, like, the worst week for you to be guarded, because there's, like, some person, some person's either in your life actively, or already, like, this, with that Knight of Cups, that, we'll just say, this Knight of Cups, whether it's an opportunity or, um, a offer of love it's it's coming towards you and you want to do your best to be as open towards it as possible not closed off so yeah pisces i hope these messages resonated with you if you did find a card that resonated with you be sure to let me know in the comments below uh be sure to give this video a like and subscribe pisces and then pisces be sure to share this video with a friend or any of my videos rather that you think might be into my tarot messages until next time my beautiful pisces i love you so much bye